In today's video, we're going to show you our latest feature in Seriously Simple Podcasting, and that's the support for the Elementor page builder in the form of two unique templates that you can import into your WordPress site. If you want to make a better subscribe page for your podcast, I'm going to show you how to do that today. If you want to make a new home base on your website for your podcast, I'm going to show you how to do that today too. It's a pretty long video. Use the chapter markers below to skip around to the important sections that are useful to you. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more. Let us know what you think about Seriously Simple Podcasting and building podcast sites with Elementor. Okay, great. So let's take a look at the two plugins that we're going to need uh, in order to achieve today's little lesson on using Elementor and Seriously Simple Podcasting. And those are the plugins. We need Seriously Simple Podcasting, of course, your favorite podcast plugin for WordPress. And in the today's example, all you need is the free version of Elementor. Now, we're going to talk about some of the benefits uh, in this part of the video, and you can always skip ahead if you want to see some of these things in action. So let's just talk about the two templates we have created before we install them and some of the um, benefits you'll receive from that. So when you have a podcast inside of your Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin. I have a sample uh, podcast right here. They don't all have featured images, so just disregard that. You might have featured images for all of them. Uh, when you want to look at all of these podcasts on the front end of your website, it uses something called a WordPress custom post type. And they're slightly different than just your regular post and your regular page. They act the same way. They're just sort of reserved for podcasts. And I already added this to my navigation, and it's called All Podcasts. And when you click on it, it's going to show uh, the archive view, as WordPress refers to it as, for all podcast custom post types. So these are all of my episodes uh, that you just saw in the back end, and they're in your typical archive view, blog roll view, as it once was known. Uh, it's just a simple listing of posts. And why we really partnered with Elementor to create podcast pages and subscribe pages, and there'll be more templates um, as we move forward, is because we want to power up our podcast opportunities, right? We want to get more listeners. We want to get more downloads. We want people to see all of these podcasts in a better view, right? Something that looks better, uh, reacts better to people looking for particular information like subscribe links, uh, and overall gives you a, gives your visitor a better podcast experience you know, for your brand, for the purpose of you're putting out content, you want people to subscribe and listen to it, and you want it to look good. And that's why we did what we did with Elementor. Now, uh, and effectively, at the end of the day, we're taking this sort of more traditional or boring view and amping it up a little bit. So let's take a look at how to do that right now. I have both plugins installed uh, and ready to go. So when I go to podcast, extensions, I'll go to the Elementor uh, layouts and templates. I'm going to click on this and import the templates. Give that just a second to import the templates from our systems. And when we go to the template section of Elementor, you'll see we have two new templates. We have the podcast landing page template and the podcast subscribe page template. Uh, both of which I, I just highlighted uh, moments ago. So let's go to all of these pages. We can view them there, but we're going to bring you right to the page. And we're going to go to the subscribe page first. We'll work with that one first. It's the one that's a little bit easier. And we're going to edit with Elementor. Now, if you've never used Elementor before, it's a page builder. It's a way for you to um, use and build WordPress pages, posts, the layouts, the home pages of your website a little bit better. Uh, you know, we have Gutenberg, which is obviously built into WordPress and Elementor, which is the largest, most used uh, page builder for WordPress, trusted by over 5 million websites. So we feel like this is going to be a good fit for somebody who wants to, you know, level up their, their web design abilities. Okay. And I should have mentioned we're using the default uh, 2020 theme that comes with WordPress, at least at the time of this recording. So first thing we'll do is drop in that subscribe template. For Elementor, it's just loaded right here in the center of the page. We'll click on the template icon. Elementor comes with a bunch of templates, but we're gonna go to my templates. These are the ones that are already uh, imported by Castos. 
or by Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin. We're going to do the subscribe page first, so we're going to insert that. I say, are you sure you want to do this? We're going to hit yes. Of course we do. We want to see this in action. So let's just move the tray out of the way. And you can quickly see that we have now built at least the framework of a great subscribe page in a couple of clicks, right? We imported the template. And basically what this did was lay out a good fundamental uh, hero section, right? That's this entire section right here. It's the number one way to stay connected to show name, right? So uh, we'll call this the audience uh, podcast. Let me get this tray out again. Click into it. Audience podcast, right? That's the name of, of course, Castos's podcast. And then uh, a little subheader. So you might say something like, uh, join Matt and Craig as they explore the exciting world of podcasting. It's the best podcast for podcasters, right? As we like to say. So basically what we're doing here is with the subscribe pages, we're saying, look, we don't want this boring, you know, regular looking page uh, on your WordPress site. We want to give it, we want to give it a little emphasis. We want to give it a little oomph, right? Uh, you also might say something like, um, leave, leave us a review on iTunes over, I don't know, 500 five-star reviews. Uh, we want to be able to give the viewer uh, just something more, right? It's, they, they cannot miss <laughs> this. They cannot miss the subscribe buttons. And that's really the point. When we talk about, you know, are our listener accounts going up? Are we getting more downloads? Can people find our show? You know, verbal call to actions, I'm a huge fan of in podcasts. And, you know, if you're not selling advertising yet, you're not selling a book or a service or a product, and there is no other call to action other than please listen to the show, I always like to point people to the slash subscribe page, right? So castos.com slash subscribe. That's the best place to get connected to the show. And we're kind of taking that ability and, and handing it off to you if you're using something like an Elementor. And it's going to pull in automatically the Spotify, Google Podcast, Stitcher, and Apple icons, uh, which are pulled from the settings of your Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin, right? These are all the places where one would go to subscribe to these pages. And, uh, you know, if you had multiple podcasts, you could select. Uh, obviously, there's just one podcast uh, in my sample site. But Seriously Simple Podcasting allows you to create a podcast network. You can have many podcasts, individual podcasts in your website. You'd be able to select, you know, which one you'd want to connect to uh, in this case, right? So that's the, that's the thought process around it. Strong call to action, supportive subtext below it, and then maybe another, uh, you could use this, you could repurpose this area for many things. You could actually pull a, a quote from you know, a testimonial from your listeners. You can pull a quote from your iTunes reviews. It's really just saying, look, here's the structure. Uh, fill in the content, make it look pretty good. Now, or read pretty good, I should say. Now with Elementor, again, if this is the first time you're seeing this, uh, you know, in 2011, this is a theme that is, the color scheme anyway, is a little bit different than what, you know, what, what, you know, most people might be using for their podcast. Uh, but with Elementor, you know, it makes it easy to, if we just click on this entire hero section, we can go to the style section. Uh, we can play with uh, the background color if we wanted to. It's a bit of a gradient. You can play with your branded colors. I'm not going to go into customizing uh, a site using Elementor, but just showing you with our widget areas. You know, that's the kind of ability that you have. If you wanted to change uh, font types, if you wanted to change colors, uh, alignments, that kind of thing. You have a lot of uh, even motion effects. Let's just see, we can do a fade in. See how it kind of fades in when somebody loads the page. That would be pretty cool. Uh, if we preview that on a page, you'll see it boom, it kind of fades in like that. So Elementor gives you that ability to get really granular with your design. Let's go to the bottom half of the subscribe page. And again, this is just structure. These are uh, lines in the road for you to travel between to hopefully increase uh, the success of your podcast. You don't necessarily need to use these elements. 
Uh, if you don't want to for your subscribe page, we're just saying, hey, look, this, these are the things we've put together for you. So we also said, well, look, many people might want to know when you post uh, new episodes, or when you upload new episodes. It's important that an audience member knows when episodes are coming out. So you might have this little section right here where it says new episodes. We publish, you know, every week, every week at 5 p.m., Right? It's just giving somebody a little bit of extra um, emphasis on when you'll be posting. Uh, this one right here, these are the social icons. You can fill in uh, your social media icons with Elementor. This is all part of Elementor. So the social icons, you can keep adding uh, the different social media uh, places that you might have other content. So you might do something like Tumblr add another item. You might do something like Instagram. Insert that. And again, with Elementor, you can play with the color scheme by default with this theme anyway. It's that color is not the greatest, but maybe we make it just a little bit darker, a little bit closer to where our hero's at before. And it just looks, you know, looks really nice and very easy, right? You can play around with the different social icons. And then the third column here is be our guest, right? And this is just a call to action where if somebody wants to be a guest on your show, you can link this to a, uh, a page on your site, a contact page on your site. And it's just a button. It's a predetermined uh, Elementor button. Uh, the style is, again, default. You can play with this, the text color. You can play with the background color. You can make this really bright red alarming call to action, <laughs> right? Where everybody sees it. And it's like, if you want to be a guest, you know, to click here, but this could be many things. This could be shop your merchandise store. This could be check out our latest products, like whatever the call to action is. It's just another way to think about how do you optimize a subscribe page? And that's the extent of this subscribe page, big call to action. You can certainly not miss the uh, places to subscribe to your podcast. And then down down below, we just have these three columns for new episodes, uh, follow us on social media, and be our guest. Again, the beauty of Elementor is you don't want to use this. That's fine. Just delete it, <laughs> right? And we hit update. And then we can view our subscribe page on the front end. And this is what it looks like. We remove that bottom row. It gives you that flexibility. And my God, it's a beautiful subscribe page. People can't miss the one action to subscribe. Okay, now we're going to talk about the podcast page. This is the home base uh, that you might direct your listeners and your viewers to see all things about your podcast, get a lot more information about your podcast, not just subscribe. Subscribe is much more of a call to action. You're using that uh, really strategically in your, uh, in your podcast, in your YouTube videos or wherever. And it's meant to level up this experience. So remember, I showed you this at the top of the video. This is the typical blog roll. Look, here's all my podcasts, but we want to make this a whole heck of a lot better. We want to give more value there. So we're on our podcast page in Elementor. We're going to add our um, landing page template, our podcast landing page template here. We're going to insert. Yes, we want to do it. And all of the same rules apply. Um, you know, we've built this structurally to give you lines in the road. You can mix and match these elements. You can customize it. You can add, remove the things that you want and don't want. We're just saying like, look, from a design perspective, one click, we just gave you this entire uh, framework for an amazing podcast page. So we have the most recent episode playing right here. You have the, the, uh, the updated Castos player. We have our most recent, three most recent episodes right here. And then you can go to the all episodes page after that. Um, and then we have more information about the show. You might have a logo, the cover art, uh, a picture of yourself, or meet the hosts, where if you're doing a co-hosted show of you and somebody else, we're just giving you that those lines in the road to say, hey, okay, I can put my, my avatar here. I can link up each host's social media uh, networks if that's a thing that they want to do. If you want to stay connected, join the newsletter. This is a great place for a newsletter subscription box. Um, Elementor has their own uh, form subscription box, their own email pop-up subscription box. You can bring your own uh, widget into this space as well. And then the very similar from, uh, we're just repeating what we did on the subscribe page, which is, hey, all the new episodes come out at this time, follow us, 
uh, be our guest, join the show, subscribe now. So we're sort of repeating those elements in order to get people really hooked into, uh, into this show, right? We want to make sure that we're giving them as much information as we possibly can on the home base of your podcast, right? So we might change that background overlay uh, to something a little bit closer to this with, uh, let's just change the typography style just to show you accent color. Uh, you can play with all of this stuff, right? But Elementor makes it easy for you to change these uh, these images. If you want to change the background, you could swap out this image that we used here for something else. Um, if you wanted to move the entire block, I don't know, you want to put it above it. <laughs> you just want to drop in the latest episode there and then put the subscribe links here. Again, Element Elementor as a advanced page builder allows you to do all of that fun stuff. Uh, and again, it's just really easy. One click, we built out an entire podcast landing page and a subscribe page with just a few clicks of a button. And you can only get this stuff in the Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin. One more time, we'll take a look at it. Exit to the dashboard, leave. Go back into podcasts, extensions, import the templates for Elementor. Again, this is going to work with the free version of Elementor. You don't need any of their other add-ons or another add-on. If you're already using Seriously Simple Podcasting and you're building a new site using Elementor or you're upgrading your site using Elementor, it's a great fit. We love your comments and questions in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want more. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next episode.